It's day two, guys. Day two, and guess what? I turned my sound on. Look at that. Oh, I talked for ages in the last video, and nothing was ever put across, because, of course, you guys couldn't hear me. What a fool I am, what a fool I can be. But it's alright, because we've still got another six days to cover everything. So it's basically um, set before I was up in the north, in the, my north base, which I... Uh, lovingly and affectionately now called Winterfell. Um, it's freezing cold up there, and um, I basically went up there for two reasons. One, I wanted to go to the shop, because it's right next to the base, and number two, I wanted to... Um... Oh, is it raining outside? Oh, it'll be all right. Number two, I wanted to check that I had everything I, ha I needed from that particular base. Just to uh, keep everything level and keep everything on board. Um, I got a little attacked by a, a small zombie horde and a crawler and a uh, screamer recently in the last video. Right after I finished the video, they all attacked. So uh, uh, I thought I'd explain why these spikes are broken and everything's bloody. I uh, didn't get as many torches for the outsides as I wanted, but they'll do for for the foreseeable future and not everything's going to be fully repaired is basically what I was saying before um, as I promised um, this video is going to be the second one and I'm going to upload it after the uh, first one has gone up straight away and I'm going to cool it off and do another two tomorrow so I need to clear all the trees in the surrounding area in this video so I can start planting my surrounding defences. All of this needs to be filled in with metal spikes that will really do the damage. And I need to clear up any uh, broken spikes and replace and fix anything that needs replacing or fixing. So it's basically now become uh, a race to get everything in order basically. And there are easier ways of doing this, yes, I know, but I'm just in a rush today, so I'm just going to do it as that. Right, so, you didn't hear any of the last video, so let me just sum it up very quickly. I'm afraid of lag. I'm so afraid that in the last night, everything's going to be um, really laggy and really bad, and we'll lose some of the footage. I'm going to try and keep as much as possible and piece it together as best I can but I think a lot of that is going to be removing some of these uh, things from the field like slicing up bodies during the uh, out times and I've got to take down these trees so I've got room to put everything down as well. At some point I've got to go to the shop up north as well to see if I can get anything else that I need. But I think at this point I'm pretty much settled. I've pretty much got everything I need in the base. The chests are full of stuff and basically what I'm going to do is I once uh, we reach day 7 or night 7 I should say I won't be topping up anything I've got. So if I survive by some miracle and the base doesn't co collapse in the first night, then we're going to push that. I'm going to hard cut to another seven days later when they come again. And uh, then another night seven, then another and another and another until eventually they get in or the base breaks or everything goes. Uh... Towards the end, I might have to make some decisions about how to reinforce and uh, what materials to use, which is nearer and more accurate to um, if I was doing the game on ultra hard mode from the very start, because then it would be like, well, what should I put resources on? Should I? Should it be spikes? 
should it be landmines, should it be this, should it be that, but I won't go out and collect any more items, I will just use what's in the chests. So now it's just a question of um, reinforcing these spikes, and just... So when we hit, I should probably make some, when we hit day 6, or night, night 6, that's the close point, so no more after that. Once I get to that stage, it's all over, and I can't reinforce any more of this stuff. It'll be, uh, it'll be my swan song. I've also got to move my bike, which I took back earlier, which has all my important uh, equipment and that sort of thing. So if I was planning um, at the end of all of this just to uninstall this game because I need the space for other things. There's just too much stuff that I need to reinstall. And my friend Rex, who I do videos with sometimes, uh, wants to do some Destiny 2. I actually have Destiny 2. I installed it when it was uh, free. I think it's still free at the moment if you want to have a go. It's a fun game to play, but then you got to pay for all the add-ons and you can't get all the trophies. Because you've got to uh, install the add-ons for which you have to pay for. So uh, if that doesn't appeal to you, don't do it. If it does, if you want, if you like it, and if you think, oh, I I do know about this game. I saw it in the shop. Everyone said, oh, it wasn't great. It wasn't the best. Yeah, there's been some really mixed reviews on it. Uh, check it out. See if you like it. And then if you do, keep it. If you don't, you don't have to play it. It's really not an issue if you just want to just have a have a go on it and not uh, not worry too much about it. Alright, Mr. Rock. There we go. Just a little bit out of that. Pretty sure I can clear most of this out. So I came from Winterfell all the way in the north. That was a long, long journey, and I talked throughout the entire version, only to discover when I started the second video my mic was on mute. What a pity. But, it's okay, like I say, we can say most of the stuff now. Um, what, what did I miss, really? Um, I was saying about loading screens and about lag, and that's been a real issue for me um, in the past, that I'd get somewhere or I'd be going somewhere and I'd hit a blank wall, and sometimes, like, dog zombies would run up and start biting me and I'd be stuck in the loading screen, they'd be able to move and I wouldn't, so it would really hurt my, uh, hurt my health or even kill me and I was stuck at one point in the north, not being able to get out of the north because I died up in the north and my backpack despawned before I could get to it, so I, I had to stay in the north and rebuild all that base up there, that's why that base exists. I went up there exploring, and uh, I got stuck up there, and I had to pretty much rebuild everything from scratch, because all my resources were down here. In order to get back down here, I needed to uh, cross the Badlands, which was that area with uh, all the dogs and the mist and the city. And that had... Um, oh, I know why I planted these trees now. Is that empty? Yeah, I think that's empty. Yeah, empty double bag. So I basically had to cross all that area again, uh, and for that I needed a bike, because the dogs would rip me to shreds. I tried on foot once, I thought, leave everything behind that I sort of got. If I die, it's all still up there, and I don't have to come back here and see how it goes. And, yeah, I died very quickly, as it turns out. So, um... I got ripped to shreds by a pack of wild dogs, there are about five or six of them, and they just ripped me to shreds, even though I had armor on, and it wasn't, you know, scrap armor, it was iron armor, I had something more than, I, I think I had a pistol and an iron club, um, 
this is the normal club. This one was the barb dying club, but uh, yeah, it was. It did not go well. So, um, so I had to stay and sort of trade with the shop, and it was so useful having that shop there. That shop saved my life. I think if it wasn't for that, the game might have ended there because I just did not have enough materials or anything in the loot, and there was not enough loot around. There's one graveyard with a few tombstones and maybe one or two houses. The drop boxes really helped. They kept me alive, but food was lacking. And, uh, yeah, so was, uh, so was material. So I had to, anything that I didn't need, I had to trade out with the shop in order to, um, get food or get water. Water became easy after a while because I realised you could punch snow and get snowballs and then melt that in your campfire to make, um, water. Well, dirty water, which then you had to boil to make clean water. And all of this needed wood, and trees in the north are very rare. So I was basically cutting down trees and then planting two. Cut down trees, plant two. And it took a long time to me for me to recoup enough trees in order to um, get a sustainable amount of wood. Because in the night it got very cold, in the day it was very cold. First thing I had to trade out for was a lot of clothing because I kept getting hypothermia. Clothing, food, water, um, more wood to reinforce the cabin because uh, on my first night there I reinforced the door and the zombies broke in in a horde formation. I got a lovely uh, tip for you guys. If you got to make a choice between spikes or reinforcements, choose the spikes. They stop the zombies. Reinforcement, not so much. Also, it doesn't help that I only reinforced the door. I didn't reinforce any of the other structure. It was just the door that I reinforced. So, when it came to it and the zombies came in and they're in their droves and their hordes. Why did I come over here? There was a stump, I thought. Did I see a stump? Did I just cut down the stump that I was looking at? Well, anyway, so yeah, I reinforced the door and um, suddenly realised that I hadn't reinforced the wall. So the zombie horde came in pretty much straight away and I have this beautiful image of a cop zombie tucking up in front of me and exploding. That didn't kill me because I was at full 250 health. Um, Instead, I got blown backwards, and then, uh, yeah, his friend, also cop zombies, ran in, hunched down right in front of me, and I thought, this is it, this is the end, this is how I go, which is exactly what happened. That's how I, that's how I left the, uh, the world. I left in the stomach of an exploded zombie. So, um, no, I would not recommend it. Nice little stack, and bye bye. Um, <laughs> so um, no, I was I was muchly disappointed by that that I uh, I forgot to reinforce the spikes. And the next day, um, I harvested everything from the zombies. I traded it out at the trading post, and then I just started gathering as much wood as possible. Just over and over again, wood after wood after wood, and back, back then I couldn't get the axis, I had the skill level to get the axis, but I just didn't have them on my person because I couldn't afford them with the metal, it had to go into other things, so um, it was a real setback, even though I had all the skills, I had none of the tools, the equipment, and the north was very sparse. So, um, that trader saved my life, and the care packages helped, and over time I built up a small arsenal, which you saw up there, or might have seen up there in the previous videos, and it was just enough to keep me going, and then when the time was right, I built my bike, and I headed back south, um, and then I realised I could use the road up there 
to get to and from uh, my base, basically, because as soon as you move onto the um, ground, which isn't a road, um, on the uh, smog city, I suppose you could call it, um, then there's mines everywhere. There's, it's a minefield, basically. That's the definition of a minefield, is that base. They're everywhere. So, I realised very quickly that I'd have to stay on the road, because there's no mines on the road, and I'll be fine. So, once I did that, and realised that, I was actually able to get up and down and through to that area very quickly indeed. And that really helped me out. So... Once I did that, I was pretty much secure to come and go a bit more as I please. But it still, as you saw, it still takes about one day to get up there. So it's a, it's a long journey. It's not by any means a short trip. Um, I over-reinforced these, but that's alright. It's not too much of a preparation. I'm hoping also these um, torches were mainly just to, just to keep this area illuminated when I was working in the night, but I'm going to leave them there because they might set fire to some zombies on the way in. But uh, maybe then I'll have to deal with on-fire zombies as well and it won't be as so good, but hopefully it will work. I'll make it work. Alright, uh, where are we? It's midday. we still got to go to the shop today because I want to do that before... Uh, it closes because they get different stuff every day, and I still need um, some things from there. I think we're good here. Pretty good on the surround. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. That's really good. Ooh, nearly hit that one. So, this world, I think I've been in this world for maybe a year. Round, maybe two. Hmm... I'd say about two two years I've been building this world. It's uh, it's not so, you know, it's not so populated that I've got a base everywhere. But I've got enough, I think, A, to overload the server. And, <laughs> and B, obviously. And B, to... Um, to basically move about a bit more freely, but you see what I mean about the server. It's, that's how I got mauled to death by dogs once. They uh, they got me while I was frozen in there, which I thought was incredibly unfair because I was actually moving at the time. The game was like, hey, you're standing still. You're just getting mauled to death by dogs. Deal with it. I was like, oh, great. <sighs> I thought that was a dog then. It's just a zombie. A bit more gas, please. That'll be enough. There we go. Alright. I don't want to go overboard on some zombies. I've got, uh, I've got enough for now. I don't want to kill anything that will have to like respawn in later um, and cause the server to lag. So. Let's not do that, because it's already having a real time of it right now. Oh, not the hole. Not the hole. Get out the hole. There we go. 
This trader, this guy was the first trader I found, and my mission was to find the trader, and I found him. And he's really nice. The other traders are all horrible to me. They're all really bad. This guy's like, hi, survivor. Whereas everyone else is like, it's you. I'm gonna mess you up if you make trouble in these parts. That sort of thing, but worse. This guy's nice. You need assistance? No, thank you. Oh, I do need some coin, though. Can't just buy anything for nothing. Okay, shut the door. Be kind and shut the door in case any zombies come. I don't know what happens if they come in here. Maybe someone ah, could test that out. I've been expecting you. Yeah, I came back with money. Thank you. I oh, can't sell that. There you are. Right, what can I buy? Forged iron, Argus. I've upgraded everything so he should have all the stuff I need in the shop, all better stuff. Um, you know, that's always good for metal. It's fine. Don't need lead. Let's take all the iron pipes. Let's take all the forged iron. Plenty of uh, tokens. Military fiber, yeah, let's take that in case we need to. Uh, that's something I need is clothing and forged iron. Uh, no, don't need that. Leather boots, no. No military wear there, not yet, but let's see. Reinforced, yep. Grain alcohol I can make at home. And I'm going to make that at home. i have a drink before it all starts. What about leather? I need leather. Nope, nothing there. And that's the end of that, I believe. Oh, he's got some extra in the back. Rockets. Y'all come back now. I will. Hopefully, I'll be back. Day seven might not come back at all. <laughs> I really hope day seven is great for you guys. I'm really hoping it's going to be everything that I'm almost like building it up to be. But uh, I am not sure if it will or if it will just fall apart or what however whatever happens, we'll face it together. And I will try and build it together. I might add some music, make it frightening. Um, I'll do I'll do the best I can for you guys with the material I get, and I will really try my best for you guys. There's only a few people on this channel, and only a few people watch it. But I did that update recently. Of I haven't forgotten about this, and a uh, few people tuned in, and I got some thumbs ups, which means other people are watching this, which means I'm dedicated to you guys. I said I'd do it. It's been a long time coming. You've been very, very patient with me, and I'm very thankful for that. But this will be the end. These are the last seven days. Uh, if, like I say, if the shack builds again I will hard cut the next seven days I won't make you go through me repairing or building like I say I will only use the resources that I have at my base and judging from my base I have quite a few resources but um, I will not be oh, I just got a little off course there I will not be building anything else um, in terms of uh, Excess, like I won't be getting out. Uh, that's all good. All right, let's put our coins back in here for another day. 
I won't be getting out anything else um, out of the environment. I'll just be using what's in the base. I won't be chopping down trees. I won't be building huts. I won't be um, any of that. I'll just use what I have until either the base breaks into a crumbling heap or um, I declare that this base has survived enough to be retired with grace. And we'll do it like that. Um, I don't know. I think, I think if we can successfully get to 10 waves, um, I think I'll leave it. And just to clarify and be completely open and honest with you guys, I will be cooling off the base with, instead of putting zombies on insane, I'll put them on insane mode on night 7, but when it comes to, um, the other six days, I'll put it back to what I have now, which is almost like peaceful mode, where it's not hardcore, so I can, uh, I can prepare the base and get through it quite quickly so I can um, be ready for the next uh, next seven day push. Which I suppose now is why it's so important for me to get so much wood. Also clear lines of sight on all sides. I really, when I'm standing up there sniping down, I really want to see these guys coming a long way off and I can reinforce my mines. Um, as far back as I can. And plus I planted all these trees. I may as well get all the wood I, out of them I can. I'm really hoping that uh, tomorrow in the shop they're going to have some military gear. Because I was really hoping to deck myself out. Apparently that is the best gear. It's the military gear. I did check it out. Um, I wasn't sure if it was the forged iron was the best stuff. Or the military fiber was the best. Turns out the military fiber. I have to say... Didn't do the military much good, but, uh, maybe, uh, maybe they weren't decked out with guns as much as I am. Maybe they had limited ammunition, thought it was only a, a plague, and it turned out into a zombie outbreak. I mean, how would you react to a zombie outbreak? Would you, would you survive? Would you think you'd make it? You'd need to craft some, uh, skills. In order to uh, to survive a bit longer. This is looking good, actually. This is looking real nice. These respawn a lot. And you can cut them all down in an area and they'll come back. I know from personal experience, it's not easy to get rid of them. But again, like I say, when it comes to night 7, I will not be altering any of this. I'll just be... So if there's those in the way, I'll just leave them there. Right. Time for the main part of this, which is filling in all the inside with metal spikes. As many metal spikes as possible. So all the inner ring is going to be filled in with metal spikes, whereas the outer ring is all these spikes. And, oh, hello. Some zombies came up on this one, maybe? Or maybe I just ran into them at some point again. So, all of this bit, these two uh, lines are going to be filled in with the, ow, with the metal spikes. So... Do that while the light's still on. I really do like this double door system, it's really useful. Let's, let's throw the last of these into here. Where are we? Metal spikes, there they are. Metal spikes, there they are. All the woods in the world. Got some of that. Let's put that in. Excellent. Rockets are going to do a lot of damage, not just to um, the surrounding area, but just to my base in general, I think. So I might leave those until the last. That can go with that. That can go with that. Right, military fiber. I think I have enough to repair most things now. I have 
uh, how much do I have? 21 there and 61 there. So that's 82 altogether. Nice uh, full mask. I have the uh, leg armor and the boots and a helmet. I think I need gloves um, and something else maybe, but that will do for now. Right, let's see. Mines are ready. Right, let's get the uh, let's get the iron. going to be useful later on. I'm going to reinforce hopefully a bit more of a surround with that. Yeah. Alright, that will do for now. You can see the lag starting to kick in a bit here as well. Ah. Close the second door. Double door system. Very useful. Very useful. Ow. Two left feet. For the exit. Yes, I, I meant to do that because now I can see. You see, I see, I see where it is. <laughs> yeah, right. Nope, still don't have the right sort of iron. Okay, I thought it was the uh, reinforced iron. It's not quite yet. But we can start making uh, the trip around with these. What do you think? Place your bets now. Will I make it? Will I make it to night 10? Will I make it to night 8? Will I make it at all past night 1? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think I'm going to die in a stupid idiot-like way? Probably. That's a high possibility. I'm going to hit the back wall spikes in a minute. Do you think I'll survive? Do you think I'll be able to retire this place comfortably without a scratch on it? I really hope I, I do. I don't think I'll be able to, but I really hope it's possible that I can. Ow. <laughs> but the realist in me tends to doubt it, judging by all this. Also, I need to drink something soon, otherwise I'm going to die of thirst. Coming to the end of the day, coming to the end of the day, I want to get this worked in before the night. I want to do at least one ring before the night, and then I can uh, see how many more I need. It was 500. I've got to reinforce them all so they're all more powerful so that they'll survive longer. But then don't forget, the explodey zombies will come in and they could wreck them in one hit. So... For all of my reinforcements, it might actually just destroy straight away. I fear I might need more of these. There's 60 odds in one stack. I don't want to do this too much because I go too far out, you see. not night seven yet. I know it's not night seven. If it is night seven, then I've messed up, miscounted, and uh, the night that I thought was night seven wasn't night seven. I'm pretty sure that was night seven. That must have been. The sky was red. The sky is orange. Why is the sky orange on day two? 
I think it's just pinky. Oh, there it goes. Just to signify it's getting dark. Also, um, I'm going to change the day settings so I'll get less time in the day and it'll be night before you even know it. Right, I think I can do successfully do another ring of fights with what I've got. Let's get behind the door. Start reinforcing this. God, I thought I had more. There it is. There it was. Where was that? There it is. Okay. It's not bad for a start. Not bad to start with. Still got to find some more material. And make reinforcements. Or in a drink would be nice right about now. Let's turn that off because I'm sure all of that is cooked. There's all my iron ready to go. And I'm not sure what that new iron is going to be. Whether I'll need it for other sorts of reinforcements. I'll leave it there, but it will be used before the night seven. It will be cooked and turned into something. So I'll see you in day three, where I hope I'll be able to push on all the way tonight, just before 500. And hopefully, will I survive? That is a big question. I have never done insane mode, so I have no idea. So... We'll discover that together. Thanks for watching. See you on day three. Goodbye.